near the end of August 2020 and it's windy today, the trees are moving quite violently. It's an overcast day. I'm on West Hill Drive going downhill. Double decker buses can be dangerous, so I gave way to it and stopped at the side of the road. This is the safest way to travel on a bike. Traffic is dangerous. West Hill Academy playing fields has people exercising in it. Running. Walking and running. Aberdeenshire Council have surrounded West Hill Academy in trees and grass, which is positive for the environment. Buses go past the school, as you can see. There's a bus. Yet the car park is full with teachers coming from Aberdeen. Full of cars. This is the main entrance to West Hill Academy. And this is the visitors car park. It's also full of cars. Either that or it's teachers parking. We can't get parked in the staff car park. The visitors' car park's full of cars. You can visit Blythswood, which is located in the Highland of Scotland, in Allness, Deep Haven, Aventon, Invergordon, Inverness, Inverness Harbour. Near and Tain and Wick and Mugavord. It's all over the Highland of Scotland. The motto of Blythewood shops is for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Donating furniture to Blythewood puts food on tables. A dog not on a lead. A new fence has been constructed. Trees were chopped down. Cows are grazing in the distance. Postmen and women are allowed to walk up the road to get closer to houses and deliver letters. Everyone's entitled to that in order to deliver letters to people's houses. So I will get closer to the cows. This cow looks large close up. That house is massive. It used to be Proctor's children's home. Children's orphanage.
In this life full of care, we have no time to stand and steer for as long as sheep and cows. That's a poem, but I don't know all of it. People should have lots of children. Because children are the future. These cows are just lying. Resting. On Friday, at the end of August 2020. This is the Kirkton of Skeen, a nearby village to West Hill, with a line of trees. I just filmed in the back of a Royal Mail van to show you how much letters and parcels they deliver. They don't seem to deliver that many these days. Broadband's taking over. When I came here in fog I got an eerie feeling as if God was watching me. But today I have no such feeling. I don't believe in God. I believe we all live on a fragile planet called Earth. In January there was raging fires in Australia. In August, Louisiana was underwater in America. Earth is a fragile planet. People need to take care of it. Take care of the environment. The environment is the most pressing issue facing mankind of all time. We need to preserve it for future generations. There's a bird up in the tree. Birds nest up in trees. I can't see it. Oh, it's here. No, it's gone, I think. But looking around, this road's flooded. It's a private road, or so the sign said. But there's cows in the field, grazing. You need to go along private roads in order to see cows and appreciate the environment to deliver an enriching educational experience to children. Look at all these puddles. This is what Storm Francis did in the Kirkton of Skeen, which is near West Hill. It's left puddles on a road that's in a state of disrepair. This is the impact. of Storm Francis on the local West Hill and District community. On this private road with lots of puddles is an abandoned what looks like a house or warehouse with boarded up windows at the Kirkton of Skeen. And this site is this road leads a care home for old folk, so it shouldn't be private. It's a Look at the height of these gigantic trees. They're massive. At this site. And all those cars down there, they're at a care home. 
and the care home is next to this abandoned warehouse or building. It's derelict in the Kirkton of Skeen. I might have come along a private road, but just look at all the cars that are on it. At an old folks care home in the Kirkton of Skeen. Staff at care homes use cars. They should use bikes and live in West Hill and commute on bike like I have done. It's more carbon neutral and better for the environment long term and for future generations. It's Sanctuary Care, Pit Care and Lodge, Care Home. Sanctuary for old folk. And look at all the cars, all, considering all the old folk that live here. This is the care home, Pit Care and Lodge. This is the countryside overlooking Royal D side. Just along from Mason Lodge. It's just along from Mason Lodge overlooking Royal D side. It's busy with traffic. But there's a path at the side of the road. The speed limit will soon be 30, but the cars don't seem to be slowing down. This shows that West Hill and Elric in Mason Lodge has a traffic problem. Just look at the speed of the cars. This is Mason Lodge. The speed limit is 30, but that lorry was doing way more than 30. All the traffic is. Speeding traffic through Mason Lodge. This is at Mason Lodge, uh, out the way. So I will zoom in on their phone number of the flooring lodge. You can contact them if you wish. This is where you'll find the happy barber at Mason Lodge. But the problem with Mason Lodge is you need to drive to get here. But bikes are better. People should take care of their gardens. Make them look nice and attractive. With bright coloured plants to attract bees. There's animals in the field. But the road's so busy I can't cross to get closer to them. This is Mason Lodge. People take their life in their hands crossing the A944 that runs through West Hill and into Aberdeen. A rope for a kid to hang themselves by. This is dangerous. A neatly colourful and well kept garden in West Hill. This tree is bent at the bottom. Yet it still stands. 
Trees can survive nuclear blasts. So you shouldn't crash a car into a tree, because if you do, you'll die. Trees are very robust structures. <laughs>